This is the closet in my studio. As you can tell, it's a giant mess. This is what it looked like when I first moved in. I gutted the cabinets and the coat racks and all that stuff. I patched the walls and I painted the walls. But after that, I just shoved all the stuff in here to get it out of the way. But now I want to shove even more stuff inside of here. But to do that, we need to be a little more organized. So let's build some shelves. These are very basic shelves as far as the construction goes and hopefully you can you know understand what I'm going for right now after watching me make the first shelf and if not just wait till the end of the video and you'll see how they go together. But you just saw me make the first shelf and I made two more of the exact same size so that will be one full shelving unit. And then to go against the short wall my plan was to make the exact same kind of shelves just different size which is what you see right here. But after I got the long shelves up, I realized that there was a better way to uh, utilize the space of the short wall. So I decided to scrap these shelves and make different ones, which you'll see in a little bit. These are the legs or the uprights for the shelves. And I had paint left over from the studio and I figured I'd paint the legs that go against the wall the same color as the wall, just so that they blend in a little bit better. What I'm doing here is scribing the profile of the baseboard and the shoe molding. This is just a template for me to transfer all of the marks onto the uprights of the legs and essentially cope out the profile. And I'm doing this so that the shelves go tight up against the wall and also I want to save every little bit of space that I can in that closet. Here I am struggling to get the bottom shelf on. I knew I could probably do it by myself and I knew there's no way I could do the other two by myself. So my buddy came the next day and we got the other two on. And I was so excited that I filled up this shelf before I put up the other shelf. After stepping back and seeing this shelf up, I realized that the other ones I made wouldn't work out the best. There would be a 2x4 right here which would make moving the drums in the corner a real pain. 
I made them 48 inches, but it's like 48 and 7 eighths between the shelves and the wall, so there would be a little bit of a gap. So I ditched the other shelves and decided to make new ones that are built into the wall. Again, these are super basic, but I just built a 2x4 frame that goes between the shelves and the wall. The left side of the frame gets screwed to the shelves, and the right side and the back part of the frame gets screwed through the wall into studs, of course. Once I got those up, I added the front part of the frames, I cut the MDF to size, and nailed it down. Well, I forgot to hit record, but I just did this like 20 times. With the shelves done, I put up these rim rack things I made in a previous video. I'll leave a link to that if you want to see it. So now all of my rims have a nice cozy home. Surprisingly, all of my drums fit perfectly onto these shelves. But I do have a few other little odds and ends that I want to store in here. So I'm just nailing these strips to the end of the shelves and to the wall. And then I cut a piece of MDF to fit in between. And that's it. So this whole time I've been debating about whether or not to take the doors down. Uh, I think I'm just going to take them down and if I don't like it I'll put them back up. That's one way to do it. Now thankfully I have a closet inside of this closet to put these doors in. While I was at it, I thought I would switch out the light fixture just because I can and because I already have one, so this is a perfect place for it. The old fixture is a 2 foot 2 bulb fluorescent fixture and the new one is a 4 foot 2 bulb fluorescent fixture, but off camera I converted it to take LED bulbs and my god, they are bright. This is the old fixture and the light that it puts out, and this is the new fixture and the light that it puts out. And now that I think about it, the closet is done.
I don't think you understand how happy I am to finally have all that stuff put away. And I mean, just look, I have all this free open space now. Obviously I need to do some tidying up, but it's much better than what it was. So again, I'm happy that all this is done, but on top of that, I'm glad that I decided to build this. When I first started thinking about doing all this, I was like, you know what, I'll just buy some shelves from like Home Depot or something, slap them up and call it a day. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Aaron Edgar, and if you think I have a lot of drums, this man has a lot of drums. But he uses the style shelves that I was thinking about getting, but with this closet, it's just so small and, you know, everything I found didn't really fit right, so like the shelving would come to like here, and I have to build something over here, and you know, I couldn't find anything that would fit against that wall, so I was like, you know what, I'll just build this. And again, for the millionth time, I'm glad that I did build this because it fits this space, it fits my needs, and nothing I could buy from a store would fit as well as what I just built. Two more things, I put this rug in here just to make it feel a little bit more cozy. And second, I've had these cabinet undermount lights like forever and have nowhere else to put them, so I thought, what better place to put them than in here. But I think that wraps up this video, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.